Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. If y'all have been following along my videos, you know that my family has a property up in Oklahoma. I just started getting some feeders, blinds, tripods, all that stuff set up out there. I've had trail cameras set up for about three months now. I have them set up in probably about six or seven different spots. I, I'd like to have more, I just haven't had a lot of time to explore and set up everything I've wanted. With the season now underway, I thought it'd be a good idea to go through some of the trail cam footage and pictures that I've gotten where I have them set up, talk about some of the bucks I've seen and, and I'm going to be targeting this year, and maybe talk a little bit about how I plan on hunting this area out there. So that being said, we'll go ahead and dive into the pictures here. So if you haven't already figured out, I like Excel spreadsheets, pretty much do everything on them. I can be OCD about pretty much anything. So what I did is I went through my footage and I kind of pulled out all the bucks that I was planning on targeting this year. And really any, any buck that I thought was big enough to call a shooter buck. And so I've named some of them. There's others where I only had, you know, one picture or video of them. I would most likely, if I saw them, consider them a shooter buck, but I didn't really name those because I didn't have enough pictures or evidence to consider naming them. So as you can see, I have eight bucks here. I think part of the reason I have so many is I'm used to Texas deer, which are quite a bit smaller, you know, in rack and in size. So it's definitely eye-opening seeing some of the size of the deer I've seen out on this property. What I did on this spreadsheet, and this is more purposes for me just being able to track them and maybe try and pattern them a little bit, is I have their name, the number of points they have, what their split is, if they're five by five, six by four, whatever that is. I have the age. Again, if y'all think uh, my age is wrong, you know, I'm relatively new to aging deer, so feel free to uh, let me know what you think on, on my ages I have here. And then I also have where the camera is located and what the date and time of the picture or video was. So that being said, I'll go ahead and open up some of these videos. We'll start with double tine. So here's a video of this buck. I think near the end here you can see a good picture of his rack. So I call him double tine because he actually has a split here on his brow tine and he's got a split here as well. So he's a pretty good buck. I age him about three and a half or so. I have a couple other pictures and videos of him as well. Everything does seem to be at nighttime though. So as you can see, I've got a decent picture of him here again. He's got the split and you can't really see his brow tine split as well on this one. And then a third video of him here again at night and you can see Again, he's got a split brow tine in this split here. We'll just roll through a little bit of the footage. He's just kind of sitting here eating by the feeder. So as you can see here, I kind of, I tracked him. He's a five by five and I, each of the days I've seen him. So really I've kind of seen him a decent amount of times throughout the process, but mostly at night. So I don't really have a great pattern on him at this point. And we'll just jump to no name one. So I don't have, great footage of this one that's kind of why he does not have a name at this point but you can see he kind of walks in from behind the camera i paused it here not really a great image either the way i have this camera set up i actually need to move it because it seems to get washed out and doesn't have the best picture quality where it's set up but that guy's pretty big Hard to really age him. I said he was an older buck at four and a half. And we'll jump to no name two. So I did get some daytime footage of him in the afternoon. Again, not great or perfect picture of him, but you can tell he's a pretty good size. Let me see if I can get that out of the way for you. So I aged him at about three and a half. Again, it's hard to tell if I would consider him a shooter at this point, you know, without seeing a, a better view of him, but I do think he probably would end up being a shooter. 
So then no name three. So I aged this buck at about three and a half as well. He may be two and a half. He's kind of right on the verge there. But again, this is the only video I have of him. It's at nighttime. Not the best quality to be able to tell how big he is in the body, but I do believe I would consider him a shooter if he showed up. So six wheeler is a six point buck. I've got quite a few videos of him. I'm not gonna show all of them, but you can kind of get an idea of why I named him that. I think he's a pretty wide load, only a six point. So I was calling him a six wheeler, kind of like an 18 wheeler, but with six points. You can see in this video, he's a pretty big guy and I've got quite a bit of footage of him over at this feeder. So that's just a picture of him in the daytime. And then here's a little video snip of him during the day. You can see how wide he is. He's this guy here in the back, right under the feeder. And you can just see, he seems a lot bigger. He's sloping down a little bit. He's drooping on his stomach. Uh, so I, I tend to think he's one of the older bucks we have out here and I was aging him around four and a half. But as you can see, I have quite a few videos and images of him, again, mostly at night. So I'll have to set up probably not on the feeder and maybe find his travel path into the feeder so I can get him during the daytime. The next one I want to talk about is Splitter. Again, this is a, uh, a buck with split tines here. He's got a split brow tine. I've got quite a bit of footage of him as well during the day and night. This is set up over a little watering hole we have. Again, I think he's about two and a half to three and a half. Kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of see his body size here. You know, he's definitely not as old as six wheeler, but he's got some good mass to him. I think I'd consider him a shooter. So we have a trail that kind of goes back here that I don't currently have a blind or a tripod or anything set up on, but I plan on setting a little blind up and hunting out on that trail at some point. So the next buck I have here is Slick Back. I have him as a three and a half year old, 11 point. And he's this one here on the front. This is actually, I think, six wheeler here in the back, but I'll just play this video. So you can see he's pretty tight in here but this is him in velvet at nighttime. It's hard to tell from this one but the reason I call him slick back is he's, his brow tines go pretty far back you know kind of up and straight back and not just straight up. So that's him over on the left. Again not the best pictures. Let me see if I can pull up something where he's a little bit closer. So you can see him here just kind of walking by the camera. So I've got quite a few pictures and videos of him. I've put up a few cell cams so I can get a little bit nicer and better quality pictures. These are some of my cheaper cameras set up. But I would say he's probably a three and a half year old pretty easily. Not sure if I would shoot him yet. I may you know, I think he, he's got some room to grow here, and with how many other good shooter bucks we have, I, I may let him go. Just kind of depends what I see. Then the last one I have I call Weirdo, and he's probably my number one target buck. I've actually seen him in two or three different spots now on cameras. So this is here, him here at this watering hole, just getting some water. So here's a video of him in velvet. So let me back this up a little bit. So I call him Weirdo because he has six points over here and four over here. He's pretty asymmetrical, has this little split right here, and it's he's pretty high. I think I've got some better footage of him that may show that a little bit better. So this is nighttime, but you can kind of see how tall he is up here and just kind of a, a unique, goofy-looking buck. I think he'd be pretty cool to come across. And I age him at about three and a half to four and a half. Kind of hard to see his body in this one as much, but some of those daytime pictures you can get a better idea. So here he is at that watering hole. You can see again how tall he is. Just staring right at the camera there. As you can see, you know, I've only been out there for about 
three months or so, and I've gotten some pretty good footage. Um, I haven't seen a lot recently since we've actually started running the feeders. All the hogs are coming up and eating all the food, and pretty much, I don't, you know, I don't think the hogs are scaring away the deer, but if they have acorns and other spots to eat, they're not really going to come to the corn where there's hogs at. So I, I'm going to have to set up some traps for hogs and help get rid of some of the hogs as well. Uh, and I'm also going to start trying to pattern them a little bit more on their, you know, bedding and their trails to and from food as well, not really hunt them over the bait. But as you can see, you know, I've got quite a few pretty good sized deer out there. Again, if you think some of my aging is incorrect or have any uh, comments or tips on how to pattern these deer a little bit more, you know, let me know. I know the quality of the the pictures and videos wasn't the best, but you know, I'm slowly getting some equipment and better cameras and, and some cell cameras out there. So hopefully I'll start getting some better quality pictures. Really hoping that next year I end up, you know, being able to track these deer a little bit more. And hopefully some of these that I don't end up planning on shooting, make it through the season and can grow even bigger next year. I did have three deer that had no names. So if you have any interesting names or, uh, anything that you think they should be named, feel free to leave a comment below. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I plan on bringing you all along for all my hunts this year. Hopefully one of these guys shows up and I can harvest my first buck and my first buck with a bow. So I'm excited to get out there this October and November. As always, I appreciate you all tuning in. Please hit the subscribe and bell notification. And I look forward to you all following along on future videos. Thanks.